Welcome to the second episode in our web series that examines the Oracle Business Intelligence applications. The BI Apps team at KPI have been releasing a series of recordings, webinars, blogs, and ebooks that take a deep dive into Oracle's analytic applications. In this episode, we will be exploring what's new in the fixed assets area of Oracle Financial Analytics. In the case you may not know, KPI Partners is the most experienced strategic consulting and systems implementation firm focused on OBIEE, the Oracle BI applications, Hyperion, and DECA, and Exalytics. As an Oracle Platinum partner, the experts at KPI have successfully completed the most complex implementations of Oracle BI in the world. Along the way, KPI has been honored with the Oracle Titan Award, the Oracle Excellence Award, and as Oracle Specialized Partner of the Year. KPI is also recognized as one of the fastest growing companies in America. To receive notification of when we add new episodes, articles, webinars, and ebooks as part of the series, please subscribe to our blog at kpipartners.com slash blog. Your presenter for this session will be Pavan Nanjundaya, a member of KPI's BI Applications team. Thanks for joining this presentation. The goal of this session is to provide a brief overview of the new functionalities introduced in Financial Analytics in Oracle BI Applications version 11.1.1.7.1. Here's a look at today's agenda. What are fixed asset analytics? Quick overview of fixed asset analytics, the product. New features in fixed asset analytics. So, what are fixed asset analytics and how does it fit into Oracle BI applications? Let's consider Oracle eBusiness Suite as the source system or ERP system used in a company. As you can see on the screen, the bottom half is depicting the source system that's used in the customer's business. Oracle eBusiness Suite integrates very well with Oracle Business Intelligence and Oracle BI applications. Fixed Assets is a module in Oracle eBusiness Suite which is used to store the asset information in the company. Before Oracle BI applications version 11.1.1.7.1, there was no analytical solution given by Oracle to capture the fixed assets information in Oracle BI applications. That is, we're talking about this part right here. With 11.1.1.7.1, Oracle has introduced fixed asset analytics, which not only captures the fixed asset information from the source, but also integrates with the other existing objects in Oracle BI applications. This completes the, uh, the tech landscape in terms of Oracle BI applications. Now that we understand how fixed asset analytics fits into the tech landscape, let's take a look at the product overview. Fixed Asset Analytics comes with six new very useful subject areas. There is a new Fixed Asset Dashboard with six new dashboard pages. There are over 25 new reports which answer almost all business questions that customers can have in Fixed Asset. There are also over 30 new metrics built in Fixed Asset Analytics. Let's take a look at some of the new features introduced in Fixed Asset Analytics. Overview. Overview dashboard page covers key reports and metrics like total asset turnover and gross asset cost ratio, which can be used by the top management to understand the overall asset performance in the company. For example, the total assets turnover measures company's ability to generate sales from fixed asset investment. A higher fixed asset turnover ratio shows that the company has been more effective in using the investments in fixed assets to generate revenue and hence the goal of the top management will be to increase the total asset turnover value. The top management can take key decisions based on the metrics created on this overview page. Acquisitions. Acquisition analysis is one of the most important functionalities introduced in fixed asset analytics as organizations would like to keep a close control on their asset acquisitions. Acquisitions provide key statistics and reports on the asset additions within the fixed assets which includes even the construction in process assets. Analyzing acquisitions by asset categories or comparing capitalized assets versus construction in process assets gives a clear visibility into the acquisition process. Acquisition data can also be analyzed by other BI apps confirming dimensions like time, GL account, ledger, etc. The acquisition amount and acquisition counts are some of the very useful metrics available in the acquisition analysis. Depreciation. Depreciation and net book value analysis helps customers to understand the current value of the asset and the decrease in its value over time. 
fully depreciated assets and depreciation by books are few sample reports that can be used in this analysis. Analyzing depreciation details by books or asset categories or even flex field segments really helps customers to get a deeper insight into the depreciation process. Depreciation amount, depreciation adjustment amount, net book value are some of the metrics available in the depreciation analysis. Retirements. Retirement analysis is another important functionality that's used to track important metrics like cost of retirement, retirement to net book value percentage, etc. Analyzing retirements by categories or books helps customers to maximize the life of the asset and increase the asset efficiency. Retirement data can also be analyzed by asset allocation, GL account, ledger, transaction type, etc. Fixed asset analytics provides some useful metrics like cost retired, net book value retired, proceeds of sale, and unit retired in the retirement analysis. Leases and warranties. Assets can be owned or leased, and tracking the warranty information of the assets may be very important depending on the line of the customer's business. Customers using these functionalities would like to understand the asset warranty status or percentage of leased assets in the company at any point in time. Customers can get these questions answered by using reports like lease versus non-leased assets and top 10 assets by warranty cost. Asset details. In many situations, business users find it extremely useful to analyze the asset data at a transaction level. Fixed asset analytics also provide transaction level detail reports like asset details which can be used to very similar to a transaction report generated in the source system to analyze the details of individual assets. It provides all the attributes and metrics that can be used in the asset analysis. Here's uh, the takeaway from this presentation. To summarize, the takeaway from this presentation is that the long-awaited fixed asset analytics has been introduced in 11.1.1.7.1 version of the BI apps. Customers now have an analytical solution that can read data from the fixed assets module in the source system and helps customers to also manage their assets better. If your organization is working towards an Oracle Business Intelligence solution and you feel KPI Partners may be able to add some value to your efforts, please reach out to us through kpipartners.com and we will have a member of our customer care team assist you with any questions you may have. We also invite you to visit our webpage for our web series on examining the Oracle BI applications. Check out all of our recordings, ebooks, webinars, and articles on the latest version of the Oracle BI apps. It's at kpipartners.com slash BI apps. To receive notification, we add new episodes, articles, webinars, and ebooks as part of the series. Please subscribe to our blog at kpipartners.com slash blog. That's kpipartners.com slash blog. And you can also follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at KPI Partners. We appreciate you joining us for this session. Take care.